Hey you guys, how's it going? It's X six 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 X Iron Maiden. Finally back again. Perfect timing. Uh, finally back again with some of the new trivium. Uh, before I start this song, which is Catastrophus, I just want to say that I did try to do uh, uh, the other main track. Was it called? Um, uh, you know, when you're on the spot and you can't remember. Uh, was it what the dead men say? I tried to do that. It was recorded. It was supposed to come out, you know, a couple of months ago. And last time I had a chance to put out videos, uh, but it got blocked because of the music video. Uh, so I have heard that song. And at this point, uh, I've also heard more of the album than that. I've probably heard this song a couple of times already, but I wanted to like really have a chance to listen to it. I've been really busy, uh, you know, with, with the child and all that. So. I really wanted to sit down and really like analyze the song, um, make sure I'm not missing you know, like any little things going on in it. So today, it's Trivium Catastrophist. All right, so uh, let's just jump right into it, man. I'm I'm. Excited to break the song down more and just really get a chance to listen because the biggest thing for me has been I've mostly been listening any songs I've heard off of this album it's been whilst you know I'm doing something else I'm either cleaning or uh, just doing a quick drive to get somewhere so I'm not really listening so let's jump in Wanted to make sure we were in HD. So, so far, and I'm actually going to pause this one because because I'm really like looking at the song, like really listening to it. So I'm it's going to be hard to talk over and remember it later. I don't normally do this format, but uh, I feel like I can break this one down a little bit more if I can remember it all, especially when it's almost a six and a half minute track. I'm going to forget some stuff. So first thing that I'm really listening for, and any of you that remembers from their last album uh, the soon sentence is alex bent jumped on the you know the band the trivium bandwagon joined the group and uh, did an amazing job on the drums and he did it again here um i really find from what i've heard and just you know putting together not just this here but the couple of other th times i've heard a few songs and all that that they've really seemed to have honed in on a specific uh like mixing of a lot of their sounds and seem to be like more in like a they just know what direction they want to go in i don't know man. I, maybe it's just me i find they have a perfect mix of he's got those girls they've got the growls in there they've got nice cleans they got nice catchy choruses they got some straightforward sections and then there's even got some proggy sounding sections stuff like that going on um and this song is definitely for sure there for like catching especially that chorus uh super catchy and the drum work is phenomenal along with everything else but that's you guys know me i've always been into drummers right so i just wanted to point that out that i am hearing what he's doing here Yeah. 
those background vocals right there. I miss, I haven't heard that before. And those like background harmonies, really low that I've never heard yet. Headphones help. Picks up a little bit here. Fuck, I love that part. Listen to that. Listen to him on drums. Our solos are on point too, eh? <laughs> he still has those. He doesn't do fills. Hold on. I'll wait a sec. Okay, just before he gets into that. Uh, I noticed again. I'm gonna point out here. The guitar works phenomenal for the solos. I just love that style. It's just nice, slightly clean, slightly distorted guitar going on there. It's mostly clean. Um, just sounds amazing. I, just, I always love their guitar solos, so it doesn't surprise me. Um, but again, I'm also noticing something new about his drumming here too. Is uh, the more I listen, the more I'm noticing that compared to the last album I felt like he was throwing in a lot of fills like all over the place in the last album because it fit the album and this one yeah he seems a little bit more controlled on where he decided to throw in fill and stuff like that which is kind of cool it just means I think it just means that they kind of like it's kind of like gelling with the band a bit more uh, and you know they just have like a certain uh, almost like a certain uh, path they wanted to take with this album and they they nailed it I think uh, you know, maybe, uh, maybe it's just me, but that's how I feel about it. I fucking love this part. Even though it's only for a few seconds there, I love that. I love that. Just to change it up. I like that. Especially since it's over five minutes long, this little change up is nice right there.
Alright. I think that's, yeah, that's pretty much the end. So I have a couple of more points that uh, I want to bring up here. Uh, because uh, it's something else I'm noticing and really, not I'm really paying attention and really thinking about it, making comparisons to you know, the past work and stuff like that. It It's really evident how much he's come into his own on his singing. Uh, ever since going back to, you know, uh, Mr. Draymond from uh, uh, Disturbed, uh, helping him out with his uh, vocals, you could really hear like he was super influenced by him on that album that he helped him with. Uh, but since then, he's really found like his voice that he's like found his own voice is himself. Like what he wants is what it feels like. He just really found what he wants to go for, and I hear it a lot on this album. Uh, on top of that, uh, production-wise, I do have to say so far this album is pretty, uh, pretty great too. I haven't, uh, you know, sometimes bands put out something and I find like, oh, maybe the drums are a little too low or whatnot. There's the yawn that wasn't in those other videos I did that I'm sure a bunch you missed. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, production-wise, I thought so far this, this album's pretty solid. Uh, I'm not counting the production on this video specifically. Uh, I'm more remembering listening to it in the vehicle because uh, I have a newer vehicle now, so I actually have pretty good speakers in it, and I've adjusted it to the way I like it, uh, and it sounds really solid when uh, listening off of uh, Spotify to them. Uh, just great album. You know, for whatever the songs that I have listened to, I should say, for the most part. I still have a few that I really have to pay more attention to and give a listen to really get the full appreciation of the album. Uh, we won't we, we won't do the whole album uh, like we used to do, and I just don't have the time. I know there's a lot of you. As soon as I came back, I got a request to do so many uh, different bands and stuff, and it's just unfortunately it just ain't, it ain't gonna happen. I just don't have the time. I thought I would be back to do more videos before now, and... Uh, Next thing you know, the baby's teething at two months old, and then right after she was done teething, it was time for a vaccine, so then she had a fever for a week, and then right after she was done with the fever, right back to teething again, which we're basically at the tail end of now, which is the only reason why uh, I have time to record right now. It's because I'm, I'm, I'm like, I, if I don't do it now, something else is going to happen, uh, which is also why I keep glancing over at this camera that's, uh, that we have set up so I can see her in case she wakes up, uh, which is why you might see me glance over a lot. Um, but anyway, all in all, solid song. They just sound phenomenal. I really like the direction they're in. I, so far, I don't think I like this album more than the Sin the Sentence. I think I still really loved that album way more. I, no, let me not say way more, because that's not true. I just like it a little bit more. This album's really solid from what I've heard and been able to pay attention to so far, and quite possibly could be my second favorite, depending on... Uh, on how it goes. Uh, Ascendancy has always been my second favorite since this in the sentence, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, I, I think it might take second. I don't know. I really like the way they chose to go uh, in their career. I know a lot of people are really upset with how they sound now compared to what they used to. Uh, I can get it if you really don't like the style they're going with now. It's completely, you know, a big difference. So, you know, it's not for everyone. But, uh, me being the guy that likes everything, I can appreciate a lot, and it's it sounds solid, and I hope they keep going in this direction because it's working for them for me. In my opinion, it's working for them great. So hopefully you guys enjoyed checking this one out with me. If you did, make sure you hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already to catch more videos since it's going to be super erratic. You're going to want to be subscribed to be able to see uh, when more come out for a little while, especially, like I said, with the, with the baby just being three months old. You never know. Stuff happens all the time that I can't record now, so. Uh, but I do get the chance every once in a while, so. Right, you guys have a good one, and I will catch you guys later.